get started here. Let me see who's first. Um, I think it's Rusty Simmons is first. Go ahead. If I miss you, we'll get back to you. Hey, Daniel, I, this may be impossible after after one practice, but give, give me an idea of expectations this season, uh, especially on the def defensive side. Um, I mean, I think for us is just continue this uh, good trend of, you know, trying to be tough, uh, tough defense. Um, I mean, like you said, it's one day, one day of practice. Um, but what we saw, like what I saw in the summer and us trying to uh, work in our little small cohorts, like a lot of us are locked in, you know, mentally, we're trying to prepare ourselves. Um, you know, I feel like even though our season didn't start, you know, September week one, like we normally did, uh, you know, we still were kind of locked in and now we're just biting at the biting at the nail trying to get out there. So, uh, but I mean, starting day one, we look real good and I'm um, excited to see how we progress um, this camp. Yeah. We've gotten spoiled these last couple of years watching Aston and, and Jalen on the back end. Uh, tell me what what uh, you think you guys can do this this season. I mean, it's like you said, Jalen and Aston are phenomenal. As you can see, they're translating to the NFL. Um, you know, Elijah, me, Craig, Trey. I mean, we're all really trying to dive into the books, really have a mental understanding of our defense. Um, you know, to help us as much as we can out there. Um, but it's like we said, we're all pushing each other the hardest we can and trying to be the best uh, secondary in the country. And finally, I was going to ask you about Elijah, who, who you just mentioned. Um, what, what do you think about what he's done with his platform and, and kind of how he's working off the field right now? He's doing an amazing job. He's a great model for, uh, you know, how to use your platform, how to use your, you know, image to, um, you know, just make the world a better place. You can see with um, the organizations he's um, partnering with, you know, his outreach, he just does a phenomenal job. And uh, to try to at least just get a little fraction of what he has and he brings it to everyone, um, just kind of makes our whole group stronger. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Trace Travers. Yeah, Daniel, uh, you Got a lot of playing time at the end of the last season when Ashton was injured. How much have those reps and the four practices you guys managed to get in spring kind of helped you adjust to taking on the one of the safety spots full time? Yeah, I mean, I think any uh, live game, live game work will help you most especially. Um, but yeah, I kind of bummed we didn't get as much spring ball practice. Um, but you know, as the end of the, as the year uh, concluded last year, I just tried to make the most of the plays I was in, um, but it's really just staying focused, being ready, always being in the playbook. Um, so that's pretty much the key to try to get on the field with us on defense. Trace, anything else for Daniel? Thank okay. you. Uh, we'll move on to David Bush from Bear Insider. Um, okay, uh, Daniel, just um, you're kind of the senior citizen as far as safety excuse me, safety is a concern. Uh, obviously, Elijah has been around, but he's uh, new to the position. Uh, do you think that you'll have a bigger leadership role? And are you comfortable in uh, assuming a leadership role? Yeah, absolutely. It was kind of weird. I was thinking about it a couple of days ago, you know, even though I have minimal, uh, you know, safety reps as compared to like the past, um, you know, I'm bringing in most of the reps that we've had coming up. Um, so yeah, I've tried to, you know, like I said, the, first, the last three years, I've really tried to dive in the playbook, get a good understanding of our defense as a whole. Um, and you can see it now, um, you know, we got some older guys that are really trying to help the young youngsters trying to get the uh, defense. But um, yeah, definitely trying to be extra vocal, extra communicative um, on the field, because that's just going to make us as a whole um, defense do better. So definitely uh, trying to do that. Thanks. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, Lorenzo's question for him as he's having a few difficulties with his audio. His question is, uh, Lorenzo Reyna from 24-7, his question is, what's the chemistry like so far between the DBs and Marcel Yates? It's good. Uh, I mean, he little, he's a little different than GA, uh, but he's very personable, very funny, um, obviously knows his knows his DB and tech technique works. Um, but we have a we have a really good bond, actually, especially for being at day one of camp, uh, a really tight group, a lot of laughing, a lot of yelling, uh, 
just like what you want to see in the DB group. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely a close knit group. Okay, uh, Jim McGill has a question from Baron Sider. Hey, Daniel. The, one of the traits in the defensive backfield at, at Cal since Coach Wilcox has been there has been versatility with a lot of guys learning and playing multiple positions. Have you strictly been safety or have you taken reps anywhere else? Um, I mean, yeah, safety's the majority of it. Um, getting a little nickel work, I guess you could say. Um, but it's like you said, versatility will keep you on the field and keep you uh, getting more plays. So just trying to once you know the all DB positions, like there's no excuses. So um, just trying to get every little spot, safety, nickel, um, you know, even some corner you can see, but um, yeah. And with the Elijah moving over from corner, has it been a pretty seamless transition for him to safety? Yeah, I mean, they're different positions, but the dude's a baller, the dude hustles, you know, he's got that grit in him. Um, and you could tell that fire that he had at corner, he's now bringing it back into safety and you know, as, as you guys know, safety position, you could kind of uh, freak go around and just go crazy sometimes. So I think it'll, it'll suit him well. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, Jasper Sundin, Daily Cow. Hey, Daniel. Um, when we talked to Elijah yesterday, he said you guys are getting a little cerebral trying to get in Chase's head a little bit when you're out on the practice field, um, play some mind games. Can you speak to any of that? Yeah, I mean – just preparing us for quarterbacks that we're going to play in the season and also preparing Chase for, you know, some DBs he's going to face um, coming up, you know, just showing different looks, not always uh, uh, showing him exactly what we're going to play. You know, we're trying to, you know, disguise, get ourselves a, a little uh, um, work in with some stuff we're going to have to do during the season. But yeah, definitely trying to get into his head. It's, it, I mean, it's camp. So this is our opponent. Our offense is our opponent. So it's fun. Okay, uh, anybody else? Final question for Daniel. I know our next guy, I saw him pop on, so I think he's, uh, he's anxious to get started, our 1230 appointment. But uh, anything else for Daniel? Daniel, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.